Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to talk about my filming setup. Now, I'm not a specific expert on filming YouTube videos, but the members have asked, and so I'm going to show you what I do. Now, for my, in my personal opinion, it's not about an expensive camera. Nowadays, an iPhone is going to work just amazingly to film, and also the sound is pretty good. So the most important thing, I think, is lighting. Um, the, the more light you have, nice white light, the, the better the video is going to look. If you're filming in a dark room with a, a, an amazing camera, it's not going to look as good as someone filming with a not so expensive camera um, in, in a wonderfully lit room. Uh, lighting also isn't expensive. You can use natural light from outside, from a big window um, or a, a glass door. Another thing you can do is, uh, if it's a sunny day, you can put a, uh, a sheet, just hang a sheet over the window so that the sun um, doesn't make that uh, spot of sunlight, it, it diffuses the light. So you can try that out or simply film on a cloudy day uh, here in San Diego. Um, it's cloudy in the morning because the ocean is nearby, so that's a great time to film. Um, I have the camera that's filming, and I'm going to show you that in a second, which is just a Canon. But I actually think that even though I spent a lot of money on that camera, that my iPhone uh, takes better quality video in different cases than the actual, the, that camera. And then I also have a Canon D70 that I film with, um, but I wish it was a Canon D80. <laughs> it's just that I got it before the, D, the D80 came out. Um, the reason that I don't use this for, for making my videos is I don't like other people filming me um, because I have a little bit of a stutter, so I like to film myself alone, and then if I stutter, I can edit it out, and it stresses me out have, wasting someone's time filming me if I'm going to then stutter and have to redo the take. Um, so uh, with this Canon D70, the problem that happens is sometimes the camera will focus on something I don't want it to focus. So I'll be talking and I want me in focus or the dog in focus and then the camera will focus on a tree that's blowing in the wind or, or something else like a piece of carpet or, or something like that and, and, and it can ruin the whole take. So for filming alone, I really suggest um, this uh, using an iPhone which stays in focus the whole time or uh, some other camera like the, the Canon that I have which is wonderful at, um, you, you can set it to auto track and it's not, gonna ch it's not gonna change and suddenly jump onto pieces of grass or you can just have everything in focus like it is right now. Here's what my filming setup looks like. I like to have an audience as well behind the camera. And here is the Canon XA11 with the Rode wireless mic attached to the top. And in the background, soft light boxes I also have the transmitter on me and the mic on my shirt. I find the softbox lighting is easy on the eyes for the dogs. I suggest getting the softbox with five lights inside instead of one where the lighting isn't very much at all. This is what it looks like with just the indoor lighting and the daylight lights on the roof. And now I'm going to put on my studio lights. Now the studio lights are on and you can see it creates a lot more detail in the image. So it's not so much about buying expensive lighting, but about using lots of light. And also, if you're a little embarrassed about how you look, for example, maybe you have wrinkles or you just don't like the shape of something on your face, I really suggest lighting from both angles and from above so it kind of washes out your face. So I am, uh, you know, in the be beginning of my 40s and sometimes overhead lighting can make me look where I don't want to look at the footage of myself. So this really helps uh, to make it more of a neutral image for myself to edit. Um, so, and, and also when you put yourself out in public, um, being lit from all sides without uh, dramatic lighting, I find it makes me feel more confident. So um, that's why I like to 
use so much light. Now if you don't have studio lighting, you can simply use a, a large window or a glass sliding door or just open a door and put a baby gate so your dog doesn't uh, leave the area and then be near that nice source of, of white light. If it's a cloudy day, um, a bright cloudy day, that's going to be a beautiful nice white light. Uh, if the sun is shining through and you don't have curtains, you can always just hang a white sheet over the window. I've done that before in my living room because uh, before I was, um, you know, trying to film on a, a day where there was sun and cloud and every once in a while the sunbeam would come in and mess with my footage. So that's what I like to do. As I said, I'm not an expert in filming, but I suggest experimenting with different lighting and different camera angles to see what works best for you and what you feel most confident with if you're filming yourself talking. Now, when I first started YouTube videos, I tried not to be in the video, so I would talk and show the dogs and then write text. Um, and I found that uh, people want to see you, so they want you to be looking straight at them, telling them, uh, friendly, uh, making a connection, a social connection, um, and having a conversation with people. So that's something I really struggled with, but when I started doing it, I got used to it, and then um, I, it really helps to be able to listen to somebody when they're actually talking to you rather than having to hear um, just a, a voiceover over footage. So um, being personable, I think, really helps and genuinely personable, not just pretending to be uh, personable. Um, also, over the years, I have uh, learned from other people how to make the background look nicer. So you don't want stuff that's going to distract from what you're doing. Maybe you want to have dog related stuff in the background, um, but I've had some friends of mine help me out. Uh, my ex-wife was really good at decorating the background and my friend Joanna, she introduced me to these wonderful plants that uh, always look great. I first tried live plants and uh, <laughs> within a few weeks they were shriveled and dead and they never looked as luscious as these fake plants. So get a fake plant, put it in the background, and it can make uh, your videos look much nicer. <laughs> because I have very small dogs, I like to film from the ground using my iPhone 10. So I'll take a little object or I'll uh, place the phone against the chair. If you were doing um, a video that you wanted to be long, you have the phone like that. And if, you, if you're doing the video uh, from wide angle, then you're gonna have the phone like this, obviously. So I would set up that view like that, and then just press record. And I'm gonna put an example of, of what the video footage is going to look like from that same angle. So first I'm going to do some stuff. Uh, I'll set up the camera and then I'm gonna do some stuff, stuff with Epic and you can see the, see the difference. Now I'm filming with both cameras and I'll show you examples of both, but you can see that the dog uh, looks much nicer from the side than from above because you can see what the legs are doing. Epic, can you wave? Another tip for filming that I often don't do because it takes time and effort if you're filming yourself is to zoom in and show the people a nice close-up view of what you're doing. Um, not only is it going to catch their attention to see the, the picture change, um, but they're going to get more detail out of the video. Are you biting my thumb? Wave. This brings up another topic that if there's something distracting in the background, that's really going to take away from the video. So I'm going to put this other dog somewhere else. And you really want a nice, um, a nice clear background around the dog that you're working with. This is super distracting having a cloud right here. Um, I'm going to put him on the ground. Whoop! And you can see that's much uh, easier to see what's going on if I were to get her to touch my fingers like that. Wave, you wanted to wave? Okay, good job. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support my work, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can also become a supporting member of channel KikoPup by clicking the join button and that gains you access to an extra video a month that you can find in the community section of my website. Touch!